Hello and thank you for joining me in the studio where we paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales. And on Wednesday I did promise you a Bob Ross style painting in acrylic. And um, if you haven't seen that, just click on the i cards there. That's going to take you into the introduction um, video of this lesson. But without further ado, let's join me in the studio and see what I'm getting up to today. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. Visit Clive5R.co.uk Arrange my palette in the same way as they come in across the screen. Now I've taken the liberty of pre-painting the background. All I've used is some black gesso and some brushes and some sponges in a similar technique that Bob Ross did. Um, I've also put some of my own make um, liquid clear on there which helps with the flowability of the acrylic paint. Now without further ado. So I said um, liquid clear. Actually it's acrylic clear and that is available at www.cly5art.co.uk go to the shop and have a look at that it is being designed to work in a very similar way to um, the uh, a liquid clear that bob ross used to use but don't mix it with oils whatever you do it is not compatible and the oil liquid clear that Bob uses is not compatible to acrylics. It's very, very, very important that I tell you that. These are different products completely, but work in similar ways. So if you want to do the style in um, acrylics, then just go to www.cly5art.co.uk and you'll see the wide range of blending whites and um, acrylic clears are there that you can use in conjunction with acrylics. But to reiterate, do not use my products with oils. They won't work. If you want to watch how I've done that, there is a lesson on how I prepped the canvas and there is another uh, lesson on the actual liquid clear itself. So please pop along and look at that. So without further ado, let's get straight in um, to the painting. I'm just going to put a little bit of moisture into my pot. I've got a, already got a little bit of Clive's um, medium mix formula in there. I'm just wetting down my palette as you normally, as you if you've painted with me before, you will know that's what I do. And I'm just picking up a little bit of cadmium yellow medium. I'm just thinning it slightly with a little bit of um, water, medium mix, and I'm just going to go straight in all over the mountain and the background there as you can see and this is going straight onto the the liquid clear and you can see it's very transparent so i'm not worried about the trees or the mountains in fact i want that to become a little bit yellow anyway so just bringing up um, a little bit more yellow just to strengthen that in and i'm going to pick up um, straight onto my brush then a little bit of yellow ochre just to change the flavour up. I'm just going to put a bit of that yellow ochre straight into the cadmium yellow medium and I'm going to bring that in, warm that up very lightly across the old painting. And thicken it up a little bit more. I'm now picking up a little bit of cadmium orange and I'm going to go straight in to the top of that. This is mixing with the liquid clear as you can see and it's blending in and it's giving me a lovely warm looking sky. Bringing that orange in, merging that in. I'm also now going to pick up a little bit of um, cadmium red. I'm just going to put that into the top there like that bleeding that in and I'm going to put a little bit of a resin, uh, sorry a little bit of cadmium red a little bit of a resin crimson then with the cadmium red and I'm bringing a little bit of phyllo blue into that and making a nice lavender purpley type of colour and I'm taking the excess off my brush picking up a little bit more and I'm just going to darken in 
the top of that sky like that. So I'm going to put that brush into my pot and then I'm going to pick up a, a nice uh, blending, soft blending brush, which is a, as you've seen this before, this is the oval wash brush and it's a natural bristle brush, as you can see. And I'm very, very lightly going to blend that all in together. I'm bringing that colour down and down and down. And then we got a lovely, lovely sky, nice looking sky. In fact, let's get, um, let's pick up a same brush. This is the same size. This is a, 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 a quarter inch, I think it is. Oh no, sorry, it's a half inch flat. Um, it's the same brush as I got in the water. I've just uh, got a several of these on the go now. I'm just bringing a bit more razor and crimson in. I'm going to darken the top of this up a little bit. I want a bit more violet, violet color to it. I want to warm this sky up and I'm using acrylics I'm not using oils um, this um, liquid clear works really well um, it keeps the, the canvas nice and slick and it allows for this blending technique and also it it, it will dry to a lovely finish and um, there we go that's lovely Let's pick that, there's a little hair that's come off my brush. There we go. Lovely. Now I'm going to pick up, um, let's put another brush in there. I'm going to pick up another um, paintbrush, it's exactly the same ones as the ones I've just used. I'm picking up a little bit of titanium white, just a touch of moisture, just a touch of moisture on that. Again, I work it, work it really into the bristles, and I'm going to put that all over. The bottom of these mountains, I want to make it look as if it's really misty, murky. Oh no, just picked up a bit of black in that. Okay, don't worry. Let's merge that in. Let's pick up a bit more yellow. Contamination and celebrations. But that's fine. We can put a bit more yellow in there. You can do this with the liquid clear. That's broken that up. Let's bring a little bit of that yellow ochre back in. Let's just warm that yellow up there like that. Fine. Okay, let's wash my brush very quickly. And sometimes when you work in like this and, and you, you, you can ease quite easily make mistakes. So don't worry about it. Just relax, take your time. As you can see, I've contaminated my white. I didn't notice that, but that doesn't matter. We can recover that exactly the way that we are doing it now. Just bring that bit of that white in. There we go. White is very opaque. I want that to look as if it's murky and distant okay get my blending brush making sure that it's not contaminated again and I'm very very lightly very very lightly blending that all in together And there we have got one fantastic sky and um, an easy blending technique and we look as if we've pushed those mountains right back into the background okay what we need to do now again um, is is pick up um, let's get a little bit of our our liquid clear and let's discard the water out of the pot because we don't want to mix that if we can help it just another little bit of liquid clear not a lot not a lot now you can do this with transparent washes if you want to that is not a problem um, but I tend to try and get this as accurate as I possibly can with the Bob Ross technique so 
as I, as I know he did use a liquid clear so I'm doing the bottom part now because the top is essentially finished for the moment I'm just scrubbing this liquid clear formula in like I said if you want to use just um, a washes and that like you've seen me doing in many a uh, video then please go along and um, I wanted to do this uh, particular painting because this is actually the last painting that Mr. Ross did um, before he passed away um, and it was the one well not the last I don't know if it was the last actual last painting but I know this was the last one or the last series he actually did so I just thought it would be nice if um, if I paid the respects to Mr. Ross because he did teach me a lot in painting so okay so back into a little bit of risen crimson back up into that mix that we made that violent mix and a little bit more blue to that and um, we got a lovely lovely purpley color more on the blue side and I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to very very quickly just put a little bit of that in into the liquid clear oh, and these black canvases are fantastic I, I've done so many oil paintings over the years with black canvases and I think it's absolutely phenomenal now you can see it because it's a, a transparent paint you can't see it there but it is there if I pick up a little bit of white on my brush you'll see the color actually coming through so let's just get rid of that and um, washing my brush very quickly and looking at the um, particular thing I need to do now what I what I think I need to do now is I'm picking up um, a small uh, oval again this is natural bristle um, I'm going to pick up a little bit of Mars black I'm picking up a bit of phyllo blue into that I'm just going to bring a little touch of risen crimson into it I want to make us a nice ready type of black color and I'm just going to go and re-establish some of these trees and things then not too worried about the ones in the background because we want to we want to make it look as if they're, they're there they're still in the background but they're, they're under mist and the mist definitely so let's just re-establish our darks and it's in no particular trees it doesn't really matter we're just establishing the color let's mix up a little bit more black a little bit more feel of blue a little bit more risen and crimson and this is acrylics I'm keep I've got to keep saying this because there's going to be people tuning in and uh, to watch this and thinking that's oils this is not oil this is, this is acrylics this is the, the the technique that I've developed now um, I'm able to paint in in Bob Ross's style uh, using acrylics which is fun and why not I think if he was alive today I think he would be so happy to see people using his methods in different mediums and um, you can't get more different than acrylic and it's quite a difficult medium to to get used to so um, yes I think it's a wonderful thing so there we go let's just brush that down like that and um, I'm just gonna wash my brushes and have a little think about what's gonna happen next let's wash these brushes right I want to have a look at grass now um, let's get a little bit of hooker's green let's mix it with that yellow there we go let's get a little bit of yellow ochre with that a bit of orange let's warm that up there we go and just put a little bit of white with that let's get our hooker's green it's a bit of yellow let's get let's get this let's get some nice greens going on here there we are so I've got a couple of different colors there now so I'm just taking the excess off my brush and um, this is um, a natural bristle brush again so this is going to shed I hope it doesn't shed too much because natural bristle brushes tend to shed and um, some of them don't like me <laughs> so, okay so I, I am actually looking at a, a reference photo I got so I, I'm just gonna just put in a couple of little bushes here and there like this I 
and this is fun if you if you want to paint this way it's absolutely brilliant you don't have to worry too much about your darks because obviously the dark is there and we've got that purpley color that's already in place so that, that's going to be there as well so let's just put a couple of bushes in like this you could put these anywhere you want uh, as, as Bob used to say you know this is your painting this is your world so you, you can do this any way you want and any way you do it is absolutely fine so let's just put in a couple of bits of grass you can push up that way if you wanted to think of the think of the way this land is going to go don't forget this is acrylics so we can actually play with this a little bit more later on if we wanted to let's just sparkle up a little bit of grass and keep loading this brush because as I said this is acrylics this is not oils so we've got to be vigilant that this is not going to work in exactly the same way and um, we've got to be mindful of that now I'm just taking excess off my brush and getting some more kitchen roll I'm gonna to have to cut the camera in a minute and change my kitchen roll over because I've run out so um, let's get a little bit of yellow ochre into that yellow and let's just touch a touch of red let's just warm that yellow up and let's get a couple of oh that's nice let's get a couple of nice bushes using the edge of the brush and then let's get a bit more yellow and let's just put a little bit of let's put a little bit of white over there and let's just oh, that's a nice little doer as he said <laughs> used to say that a lot didn't he bold bob there's a nice little doer there's a nice little doer yes nice flavors let's get a little bit of let's go straight into some yellow ochre yellow and think of think of way this grass is going to go you've got to think of the way this grass is going to grow it's going to get darker in you but it's naturally going to pick up the color that's on the canvas that's that's the good thing and think of this this let's get a little bit more white let's sparkle this up here as if it's catching light i have to put some more yellow on my brush in a minute on my palette sorry that's fine that's fine that's fine Leave a couple of darker areas here and there. Now this is going to get progressively darker as we come forward and the grass is going to get progressively darker and bigger as well. You're going to see a little bit more detail in this grass. And I just turned my brush around, just picking up a little bit more of that yellow mix in a little bit of darker green let's get a little bit of green in there now and the, the more you do this the softer that effect is going to be now the good thing is with using acrylics is that we can force dry this with a hairdryer which is going to allow us to put a little bit more detail in which is something you can't do with oils you've got to wait for it to dry but we are able to do that with acrylic so we will be looking at that in just a second okay so we need again a brush now I've got I just picked up um, this is just a common and garden 
decorate this brush. Yes, it's what they call a Fitch brush. This is this is for painting round edges and things like this. I used to use this a lot as a decorator. Now, I've never tried this before, but let's see if we can't get a little bit of black on this canvas. And this is quite a nice brush, actually. I'm going to put a little bit of phyllo blue in with our black again. I'm bringing a little bit of our rizzer and crimson in. Let's make this black. Now, I want to bring this tree down. I'm going to bring this down here like that. I'm constantly loading the brush. I'm going to put a bit more black to it. There we are. I want to bring some bushes now down here like this. And this is all about layers, really. This is all about layers. Showing depth and, and that now it looks like a, uh, a, a meadow there and this is all in front of that And you can just sweep it across if you wanted to that's fine if that's quicker do it that way um, and I think um, in this particular lesson Bob decided to um, Put a tree this side I think so let's see if we can't put a a tree or something here. Yeah. And this is acrylics. I got to emphasize this is acrylics. So look, I would tell you, we will put a little path through there or something in a minute, I expect. This is looking pretty good. Now it looks already given us the distance, is not it? There. Right, I'm going to put that straight into my water. We'll wash that in a second. I'm getting my strip liner brush, putting in a bit of moisture into my pot. Um, I got a little bit of my flow improver in the water already. Prepped that before I started. So let's get a little bit of um, let's get a little bit of this yellow ochre like that. Let's just put a little bit of red to it. There we go. Bring a little bit of blue over make it like into a, like a brown color a little bit of white a little bit more white let's have a look let's make that nice and thin maybe a little bit darker let's put a little bit of black to it that's better and get it to a nice sharp point like that and let's see if we i'll tell you what we'll do um let's get another brush very very quickly and let's pick up a bit more of this black and let's, let's bring this tree let's bring this tree down let's bring this tree down like that because like bob said in, in 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 this world you can move trees and you can move mountains so as I said in the past, I've learned so much from Mr. Ross. Anyway, let's see if we can't put a a nice branch in there like that. Nice chunk. And if you've got bad nerves, this is this is definitely, as Mr. Ross used to say, this is definitely the, the place to have bad nerves. Um, let's put our trunk a little bit bigger there, shall we? Let's put a little bit of white. Let's make it a little bit greyer. There we are. I'll do. Oh, nice. Put that up there like that. But if you've never painted um, wet and wet with acrylics, it's, it's real fun to actually do. And um, I think you'll have loads of fun with this. Let's bring that. Let's make that look like an old boy there. There he is. It's all going to be taken up with a little bit of leaves and bushes and things we just put in the, the, the branches in first
Well, I said, unfortunately, I think this this was definitely his last show that he did um, for the channel, and um, it, it is it is sad. It's a sad. It's a sad day. It's a sad day. It was definitely. Okay, we can play around with that in a little bit more detail later on. And I haven't dried this canvas off yet, so uh, even there, I can show you, it is still tacky. Look, see? Can you see the paint on my finger? So it does stay wet for a really long time, so be very careful when you're doing this. I've just washed that out. I'm going back into this little tiny um, filbert, as I showed you. It's a natural bristle brush. I've got to make sure it's dry. And we're going to get some leaves on these trees now, I think. Okay, so we got that nice and dry now. Um, so I'm going to look at the trees and let's get a little bit of um, hooker's green there, back into there. Let's get a little bit more yellow. I put them, there's a bit more, more yellow on my plate there, on my plate. It's not a plate, it's a palette. Let's sparkle that up. Let's get this, work it really well into the, the bristles. And let's take the excess off. You don't want this full of paint, but you want it tacky enough to actually pull off. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in a little bit of green there now. Like that. Bit more yellow let's change the flavor up a bit pick up a little bit of yellow on there now as well just pick that up a bit of green Alternate between colours, get a little bit of ochre's green and then you can pick up a little bit of yellow, mix that in, you can pick up a little bit of yellow ochre if you wanted to, you could put a little bit of that, just, just mix these flavours up, these are your trees, it doesn't really matter what they look like. Get some darker green. Let's put a little bit of darker green there. Just a little bit of phyllo blue to it, just to darken that green up. Let's put a bit of black to that. I want to darken that green right up there. And if you want, you can um, get a little bit of white to the green. Just going to give a little bit of a highlight. This here and there. This would be in shadow, but it doesn't matter. As, a, as a, you know, it's your world at the end of the day. That's fine. Okay, let's change my brush. Let's get another brush. I'm going to pick up that blending brush that I was using. Again, I'm going to go into. I'm just mixing all these colours together now. I want to get a, a multitude, a multitude of greens. There we go. Let's get a nice, nice green. Splay in that brush, taking it, and just put in a different type of patterning pick up 
picking up this brush again. This is the one we put the grass on with. Two the greens. Let's get let's get these greens in. And just have fun just mix these colors and put them on be very very careful as you put them on but blend in the mixing the, the colors actually into the the bristles themselves and don't kill all them darks those darks are your friend at the end of the day and don't forget we can come in and we can play around with this if you wanted to just put a couple of like the bits here and there. Let's darken our green up. Let's get a little bit of yellow ochre. Let's just put a I just want to stop the video there very quickly. You can see the the luster that this actually gives and it does dry um, very, 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 very slowly. Um, so it increases the workability of your paint. So you need to let this stand on the side when it's completed and give it a couple of days to completely dry. And then you can varnish it if you want to. Um, the acrylic clear um, reacts with the paint. It is very, very, very stable. It has been designed to be able to um, allow the paint to um, be manipulated and to have very, very low drying time. Um, it is a fantastic product and works really well um, for, for these type of paintings. So give it a try, give it a try. Okay, tell you what we could do now if we wanted to, which is going to be a bit of fun. Let's get a, I got a, a little, um, what's that, a quarter, a three quarter inch flat. Yes, it certainly is. And um, I'm just going to pick up, um, I don't know, let's, let's put it there, some yellow ochre, a touch of black. There we are. Let's mix this up, a bit of red, orange, a bit of blue. Let's make a lovely dirty colour, shall we? And um, let's put a bit more red to that. Bit of black, or you can just put some brown on your your palette. That's entirely up to you. I've just I just want a dirty colour uh, like that. Let's put a bit more blue to it. It doesn't really matter what colour. I'm gonna try and get it. I'm gonna try and get like a ready bright type brown, and I'm just gonna bring in a little path with a brush, and I'm using a brush because we use a brush in. In acrylics more than we actually use palette knives so but it's it's a good idea to to practice with different techniques if you wanted to put a um, I use a palette knife then you could and you could just take this path up all the way down around that tree because it, it, it helps we can put that path all the way around that tree like that there you go and let's just mix 
a little bit of white with that there you go and um, the key to this is going to be if we just take the moisture off and just lightly drag that across like that you, if you did this with a palette knife then you, you'd get more of a break with it but it doesn't matter we can do it this way it makes no difference really we just want that little bit of a, a difference in there and then just take the moisture off and the paint off your brush completely and blend it very very lightly because that was what we can do and it's still wet everything is everything is still wet look so I've been working on this now since I started with this liquid clear and it works really 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 well it's just a little bit of light coming in to that path area like that it's all we want there we are you can bring a little bit of yellow just to make it look as if there's a bit of a glow and then what we can do we can get our little brush that we use to put some of the branches on and what we're going to do the leaves on what we're going to do is going to dry this off in a minute and just we can finish it off if we wanted to that's easy okay let's pick up a bit of this green and then just go over and just over the top of that path and close that path in like as if this is all growing over it like that okay and we can get a smaller brush um, just get any any small short flat a little bit of black or whatever color you got just mix it in with that path color just go underneath we want it darker than that just go underneath our path like that and get your script liner brush go into some green just put some blades of grass poking our little heads up like this you need to put them all over now please 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 and um, I'm not just saying this because mr. Ross used to say it you've got a lot more time um, than than I have and um, I put that in a bit thick there oh dear matter we'll sort that out now um, as I said you've got a lot more time than I have and um, yeah practice play with this um, as I said you can dry this off and what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to show you that you can do that so I'm just going to dry it off very quickly and change the flavor I put a couple of yellow ones in there as well because these will die back they want a little bit of a, a grassy looking effect you can get some of the dark color onto your brush and you can put in a couple of trees and twigs and all these little doers as you used to say all these little doers in there like that great stuff yeah let's break it up a touch like that and um, that's absolutely fantastic so um, what we're going to do now, um, what I'm going to do now, I should say, is going to dry that off completely with the hairdryer, and I'll show you then how we can actually tighten this up if we wanted to. Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. Okay, let's just get a, and don't a brush. don't forget to click subscribe. And this is the same this is just a tiny little brush and um, now it's dry the actual canvas is dry you can just go in re-emphasize a couple of these little bits of grass like this if you're not happy with anything then you've got the opportunity now to go in and sparkle it up and change it because it's not going to go 
all dirty and nasty on you because it's dry. So if you, if you want to brighten up a couple of areas and put some extra bits of grassy things in, then you can do it. You can actually glaze as well if you wanted to. You can just tap in a little bit of extra light here and there like that. Or you can just lightly glaze over with a little bit of green like that. And you've got the opportunity now to change and sparkle up a couple of nice areas here, there and everywhere. Just get that light to look as if it's just catching. You know, we can put it, let's get a little bit of yellow. Let's put a little bit of yellow in this yellow ochre tree that we did. Let's make that look a little bit more like a bush and a little bit of grass there. Let's get a little bit, we can get a little bit of hooker's green and we can darken in a bit of green area there. Okay, like that. Or we can just glaze over slightly like that if we wanted to. And just pick up, pick up a couple of longer blades of grass or little tiny bushes. What, whatever, whatever you want to do here now, you can, you've got the opportunity to play with this for hours and hours and hours and hours. And um, I think that's a fantastic thing to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick up, whoops, I <laughs> just dropped my brush. I'm going to pick up a, a little shader brush. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what brush you've got um, and let's just put a let's just put a a nice branch in there that's so all I'm using is a little bit of black and in the style of Mr. Ross I thought it would be nice if we incorporated this one as well and um, and used to say that uh, you should always have a little friend, so we'll put, we'll put another one just in there as well. And he used to like his trees, and he was, uh, he was, he was very fond of nature as well, Mr. Ross. There you go. And um, let's get the script line, the brush. I got it here somewhere. And let's put it, let's put that with a little bit of water. Let's make sure it's not too thick and let's just put a couple of these little lines in branches in these trees They, they certainly do grow, uh, Mr. Ross. <laughs> He's listening to me up in heaven. These trees do certainly grow. That's for sure. Okay. I'll do it. Let's just do a couple of more twigglies. Never been very good at doing um, branches, but yeah, they do take a little bit of practice. But hey, who cares? I don't mind. A tree is a tree is a tree. And as long as we got a tree that looks something like a tree, then it doesn't really matter. That one's growing now. But these can grow anywhere they want. It doesn't matter. This is fictional world and it's, it's an imagination there you go just put a couple of little doers here like that give our chance to dry a minute let's put in a, a little one there put a couple of little twiggies here and maybe a one coming out there like that a couple of branches these little baby trees as a the seeds have all grown and let's put a, a couple of little doers there there 
There you go. Picking up a little bit of titanium white. And I'm just going to drag it down. Looks a bit like a, a silver birch. I don't know how much does it. It looks like a silver birch, but uh, it certainly is a silver birch. But I'm trying. I, I want it to be a silver birch, but who knows? Does it look like a silver birch? I don't care. It's just the fact that this is a lovely painting, and it gives you an idea of how to do something very, very quickly and easy without even really thinking about anything like that. And I think that white there is a nice little balance off. And um, I'll show you another little trick on that tree one second. Let's just get that. You spend a little bit of time on it. Get it looking the way you want it to look. And um, that's cool. So let's get our little tiny little brush. Where's it gone? We've, I've got to get a few more of these. And then picking up a little bit of that green, yellow, whatever, and just going underneath that again, like that. That's cool. And um, yeah, I think that's looking pretty good to me. Let's get a little bit of yellow, black. Let's just put a little bit of color onto that trunk. Don't want to kill it too much. There we are. And. Um, things going on in there. Bit of cover, a bit of colour going there like that. There we are. Nice. Nice. Um, very very quickly and I just want to go back over a little bit of black just to get rid of a little bit of that. You can see the paint is still wet in certain places. What I'm doing is I'm pulling around like this. So I'm trying to make it look as if it is rounded, that tree. Now you need to spend a little bit of time on this. This is not oils, this is acrylic. So please, 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 please don't think this is a Bob Ross technique with oils. It is not, it is acrylics. And um, I think that's just just about it I think so um yeah uh, yeah I'm happy with that so please like comment and subscribe um please join me on patreon uh, for 25 cents a week yes it's as um, simple as that and you can help support me in the studio so what I'm gonna do now in this particular instance is I'm just getting my little script liner brush I'm picking up a little bit of black and I'm just gonna sign it in this so corner. thank you very much for joining me in the studio and I hope you give that a try and you'll see uh, there's fantastic things you can do with this, these products. You can do seascapes and landscapes and mountains and the, 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 the list is endless. The list is endless and I will be doing a lot more of these for you to have a go at. Um, but without further ado, thank you very much for joining me in the studio today and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.